Hello. So in a meeting with Western students, the Dalai Lama once expressed dismay at the amount of feelings of unworthiness, aversion, and even self-hatred expressed to him by Western students. It took some time for the students to explain exactly what that even was. Now, I've heard several versions of this story, but basically it comes down to this. The idea of self-hatred and fierce inner self-criticism was alien to him and apparently his fellow monks. In Western culture, however, there's a pervasive sense of lack of self-worth, inner judgment, unworthiness, insecurity, and self-hatred. There's even a thing called imposter syndrome, where someone who seems to really have it together falls into disbelief of their own skills and their values. So where does this all come from? Well, our marketing and media get blamed a lot. The constant holding up of unattainable ideals could give anyone a complex, but we really can't lay the blame there because after all, they wouldn't use it if we didn't buy into it. We have been constantly bombarded by judgment since the day we were born. Did we walk soon enough, talk soon enough, excel at school, make our teachers, our friends, our parents, our neighbors happy? Are we successful at business? in love, in life. If we experience neglect, abuse, or abandonment, this can lead to being intensely self-critical as we grow up. Negativity bias can take us over. Even after a huge success, we may say, well, but that was okay, but it'd be better if. This is abuse too. It's self-abuse, and it's keeping us from one of the most important realizations, that we are enough, just as we are. So what do we do? Well, honestly, stop trying so hard. If we can just be with the experiences we're having and let them flow, they'll turn out just fine most of the time. If it's the constant twisting and wringing, trying to make life what we think it should be that's causing us the pain. When you feel the questioning gremlin come up, doubting, self-loathing, judging, stop. Take a breath. Ask yourself, what am I believing right now? What's looking for attention right now? Often you'll find that fear is at the core of it. Simply recognizing the story we're playing right now in our head can often dissolve the whole feeling. Often we see the story isn't even true. For example, we expect others will judge us in this way or that way. But if we ask them outright, we'd find they had a different story in their heads altogether. We can also offer ourselves some self-compassion. Get in touch with the feelings that go with the story. Where do you feel it? Really feel it and take a breath or two to get centered. Then say to yourself, maybe with your hand on your heart, I see your suffering and I'm here for you. Now, this may seem silly and kind of flaky when I say it, but try it. And you may find it quite effective when you show yourself the same compassion you'd offer a friend or a loved one. The self-judging gremlin quiets. Remember, we are here in this life to live, to experience. Getting caught up in grasping and avoidance diminishes the experience, bringing stress we really don't need and we don't even have to have. Marcus Aurelius said, I think I said that wrong, Marcus Aurelius, said, if you're distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this you have the power to revoke at any moment. I invite you to let more go and know that you are indeed enough, just as you are. Thank you.